The last video I did that two minute textures, the textures when they were done wasn't at the best quality. This method should give you better quality textures. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I am the friendly neighborhood Moomin and I'm back once again with the Renegade Master. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I am back with a follow up to two minute textures. Yes, that's right. Two minute textures. We're now done in three minutes, but we're doing them a lot better and a lot easier. Well, not easier, it's the same steps, but the results are better and more polished. We've come on a bit with that, but you don't need a PC. You can do it in about three minutes and it's really for those people who are doing original content. Is this good for the likes of your Kenny Omegas, your Will Ospreys, people from other wrestling companies? No, I would not advise it for that. So if that's why you're here for, please leave the video running, but you can leave the room. Maybe give me a like and subscribe before you do go. If you are new to the channel, I am the friendly neighborhood Moomin. Likes and subscribes are welcome. And let me know in the comments after this video what you think. Is this helpful? I want to see your results. But speaking of results, why not show them to me on Twitter? Give me a tweet and show me what you've done with the face texture available. The texture at the end of this video will be, I have a link in the description as well. If you want to take part in future content, I do a stream every week called The Core Review and Workshop. One week is the workshop where literally it's either me creating stuff for myself and guiding you along and getting and helping you on hand or it's me just literally helping the community doing requests and things like that that is the best time to come and get requests and yeah, i do get twitter dms and stuff like that but the best time if you want me to help you is come along to a stream because i'm live and i can talk back to you as it were and show you on screen literally what i'm doing in my thought process we're going to get into this video now you're going to see my phone capture in a minute uh, and it literally will take you about three minutes and i'm going to go through the steps and the thought process regarding this. You are going to need three apps. So the first one you're going to need is Face App, you're going to need Remini, and you're going to need something called Adobe Fix. All apps are available on iOS and Android. Okay? And the first thing you want to do with myself is think of the celebrity your creator wrestler wants to look like. So in this example, I'm using someone called Kieran Trippier, England footballer. Um, probably made his name more at um, Tottenham Hotspur than he did anywhere else. And he currently plays for Newcastle United. Okay? You'll see I've got a picture of Kieran Trippier on the phone in the, sc in the screenshots. Well, what I'm doing differently on this one is I'm using the existing and, and texture that I'm not actually going to be using on any of my original current characters, but I've done it instead of the default texture. Again, links for this texture will be in the um, description. And because I'm using an already made texture that I'm not going to use, yes, it's going to mix the two together and it's going to kind of look like a bit of both, but the texture itself has already had work done around this part which always comes be, can be quite dark and some imperfections removed, okay? The first thing you wanna do is think of your celebrity you wanna use, okay? You wanna open then your face app and you wanna just select your texture, either one of your own created textures or the one I've linked in the description and then merge that with your celebrity. You can have your user celebrity tool on face app or you can have already had a downloaded one, first of all. You wanna use face up suite option or you can use the morph option that's up to you okay once you've done that part what you need to do is then open the remedy app on your phone and enhance the picture okay by enhancing the picture it brings all the details to the texture to life so to speak um but it does blow the image up okay so sometimes the the dimensions aren't correct you can either go and edit that on a pc once you've got that raw image or you can resize it using a tool on, on a website, which I'll get to in a second. After you've done all that, okay, you then just need to open Adobe Fix. And what I tend to do is I use the heel option, remove the face app logo, okay, and then I use a smooth option and I smooth around the edges of the face to the, to the back. And if you want to do, this is optional, you can sharpen the middle and, and make the facial features pop. As it stands now, you do have a decent texture you can use in game. I would then suggest just doing one more step, going onto Google, resize an image, running it through um, the software of the, you'll see a link that I use, but you can use any of them, you run it through uh, and just resize it to make sure it is square, if it's not already, okay? And then you're ready to go, you can upload to WW2K22, okay? I've actually, the texture that's actually come apart on this, I've actually used, and that's the thumbnail, and I'm actually gonna use that texture going forward. If you do find this useful and you wanna use it, like I said, in the, 
in the beginning of the video. Let me know how you got on and let me know what you think, okay? And it's just trying to get people who don't have a PC or anything like that. It's perfectly lined up because it's using a texture already and I just hope it's something that does help there. The last video I did that two minute textures, the textures when they were done wasn't of the best quality. This method should give you better quality textures and better quality cars. And I, really want, I am eager to see your results. If it's helped you, leave me a like and a subscribe. Particular comment on the video and let me know what you think. Heck, share the video on Twitter, tag me in it and let people know and show the love if you don't mind. Okay. And I said if you can want to take part in future streams or I'm reviewing your cars or I'm helping you along, why not visit the Twitch channel in the description below. Um, recent Twitches have gone really well and the last one was really good. It was really educational. People, feedback I got was that I've helped a lot of people out. But that's about it for this video. I do appreciate you stopping by. Again, don't forget to leave a comment um, and just keep a tab on Twitter and things like that for future content coming, coming your way. I am the friendly neighborhood moving. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one.